math buddies, Sir Sherwin here, your math instructor. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, leave a comment, and share this video. And of course, hit the notification bell for more updated contents. For today's lesson, we will be discussing about division of fractions. How to divide fractions? This would be the steps we need to remember in dividing fractions. Flip the divisor into its reciprocal. Second, change the division sign to a multiplication symbol and multiply. And third, write final answer in lowest term. With this, let us be ready with our first example. Divide 1 third by 10. So in dividing fraction by whole number, all we need to do is to flip our divisor. In this case, divisor here is 10. So we will change the divisor to its reciprocal and proceed to multiplication. We will write first 1 third followed by the reciprocal of 10 which is 1 over 10. The division sign will be changed into a multiplication symbol. Then apply rules in multiplying fractions that is numerator times numerator, denominator times denominator. So 1 third times 1 tenth, the result is 1 thirtieth or 1 over 30. So this can be considered as our final answer. Let's have example number 2. Divide 5 eighths by 3 fourths. So in dividing this, again, we will change the divisor to its reciprocal and proceed to multiplication. Divisor here is 3 fourths, so we need to change its reciprocal, and that is 4 thirds. So to write our new equation, that is 5 eighths times 4 thirds equals, then we need to simplify by multiplying numerator and numerator, denominator and denominator, the result is 20 over 24. But in this case, these are not written in lowest term. So we need to simplify by looking for the greatest common factor. So 20 over 24 are both numbers divisible by 4. So in this case, we can say 20 divided by 4 and 24 divided by 4. The simplified form is 5 over 6 or 5 6. Therefore, the solution for our second example is 5 6. Let's have our third example. Divide 13 over 6 by 26 over 9. So again, 13 over 6 divided by 26 over 9 can be done by changing the divisor to its reciprocal and proceed to multiplication. So 13 over 6, in this case, our divisor is 26 over 9 and its reciprocal is 9 over 26. So we will change the division sign into multiplication symbol and the reciprocal of our divisor. Then proceed to multiplication and that is 117 all over 156. But this fraction is not yet written in lowest term. So all we need to do again is to look for the greatest common factor. So for us to determine the greatest common factor of our given fraction, allow me to utilize factor 3. So first, factors of 117 are 3 and 39. 3 is already prime, while 39 has still factors and that is 3 and 13. So 117 has prime factors 3 times 3 times 13. On the other hand, 156 has prime factors 2 times 78. 2 is already prime, while 78 has factors 2 times 39. And 39 again has factors 3 times 13. To write factors of 156, we will have 2 times 2 times 3 times 13. So the greatest common factor between these two terms would be 3 times 13, which is equal to 39. So utilize 39 to simplify our fraction. And that is 117 divided by 39. The result is 3. While 156 divided by 39, the result is 4. Therefore, the simplified form is 3 fourths. Let us have our next example. Divide 4 fifteenths 
and 16 over 25. So again, we will get the reciprocal of our divisor and proceed to multiplication. So 4 fifteenths times the reciprocal of 16 over 25, it's 25 over 16. So multiply numerator times numerator, 4 times 25, the result is 100. While multiplying 15 and 16, the result is 240. Again, this is not written in lowest term. So we will look for the greatest common factor. First, let's start with 100. 100 has factors 2 times 50. 50 has factors 2 times 25. 25 has factors 5 times 5. Therefore, prime factors of 100 are 2 times 2 times 5 times 5. On the other hand, factors of 240 are 10 times 24. 10 is a composite number. It has its factors 2 times 5. 24 is also composite number. It has factors 2 times 12. 12 has factors 3 times 4. And 4 has factors 2 times 2. Therefore, the prime factors of 240 are 2 times 5 times 2 times 3 times 2 times 2. So the greatest common factor between these two terms would be 2 times 2 times 5. The product is 20. So in order for us to simplify 100 over 240, all we need to do is to divide these two by their greatest common factor which is 20. So 100 divided by 20, the result is 5, while 240 divided by 20, the result is 12. Therefore, the result is 5 over 12. Of course, in mathematics, there is what we call an alternative solution. So as long as you are not violating any mathematical rule, and if you arrive with the same result, then the answer will be considered correct. So in this case, allow me to have other way on how to divide fractions. Let's start with our first example. Divide 5 eighths by 3 fourths. Here, first step is that we will change our divisor into its reciprocal and proceed to multiplication. Thus, we will change 3 fourths into 4 thirds and change division symbol into multiplication sign. So we will have 5 eighths times 4 thirds. So we will use the cancellation process. So here, 4 and 8 are numbers divisible by 4. So 4 divided by 4, that is 1. And 8 divided by 4, the result is 2. To simplify this, 5 times 1, the result is 5. And 2 times 3, the result is 6. So therefore, the Answer for this example is 5 sixths. Let's have the second one. Divide 13 over 6 by 26 over 9. Again, we will get the reciprocal of our divisor, 26 over 9, and that is 9 over 26. And change this into multiplication symbol. So we will have 13 over 6 times 9 over 26. So here, 13 is present in the numerator and 26 in the denominator. These two are both divisible by 13. So 13 divided by 13, the result is 1. 26 divided by 13, the result is 2. Likewise, 9 and 6 are numbers divisible by 3. So 9 divided by 3, the result is 3. And 6 divided by 3, the result is 2. So our new equation is 1 half times 3 halves and the result is 3 fourths. Let's divide 4 fifteenths by 16 over 25. So again, we will change the reciprocal of our divisor and proceed to multiplication. So we will have 4 fifteenths times 25 over 16. So here, 4 and 16 are numbers divisible by 4. So 4 divided by 4. The result is 1. 16 divided by 4, the result is 4. Likewise, 25 and 15 are numbers divisible by 5. So 25 divided by 5, the result is 5. And 15 divided by 5, the result is 3. 
So our new equation now is 1 third times 5 fourths. So 1 times 5, that is 5. 3 times 4, that is 12. So there you have it guys. I hope you learned something new today. Thank you for watching.